blasphemy came to be wow i had made that a while before i actually walked up and told tupac that i was a producer on the label but uh the day i walked up and told tupac well let me let me keep stay on the track for a minute when i made the track i was thinking uh more of uh some jazzy type of death row um uh, music that's all with a little jazz feel on the r b side so i had told tupac um that i was a producer on a label and he said what room are you in i told him room uh the green room back there the room uh right by a so he knew where it was at and he said oh, you you'll be here tomorrow morning i said yeah i'm here every day he was like, okay, I'm going to come check you out. So the next day, he kept his word. He came, he knocked at the door, I opened the door. Uh, I was kind of shocked. But he gave me his word and he kept it. And uh, he came in, he said, that's you? The music was already playing when he knocked on the, while he was knocking on the door. And he came in, he said, that's you? And he was talking about the track. And I was like, yeah. And he all he said was, can I get it? And I was like, yeah. He was like, you the only one played on it? I was like, yeah. He was like, can I get it? So I said, yeah, and he had the engineers to come in and uh, they uh, took it in the room and did their thing to it. And man, that was blasting. I never heard of that one, but I know it's a lot of my thing. But all I knew that, uh, I think Tupac wanted a new sound. Or uh, if Johnny, and because he started working with the original Machiavelli was done by uh, Quincy Jones' son, QD3, originally. And um, right after I stepped to Tupac and told him who I was, that's when uh, we did Blasphemy. And, and uh, Pac heard that new sound, man. He heard that, heard him bad, that Tyrone Wright sound. I'm going to tell you the truth. He heard that new sound, and excuse my language, but Pac was like, F all these other producers. I'm finna f the dude right here. The sound, you know, it was a normal day, man. I come to work, you know, uh, I always come in and um, order me something to eat. I order something to eat. I smoke. I'm not roll me up something, smoke it, you know, and I, um, I just touched this sound. It was, I ain't going to get a name up. I tell you when uh, I'm off the record, <laughs> but uh, it was this sound that I touched, and I touched it with like, like it was like a four finger chord, four chord, four finger chord or something, whatever you call it. But I touched the sound, and after that, I just like I really basically heard the whole track after I touched the sound. So I just started putting it together, and it took me like five, ten minutes. I didn't really think too much of it. You know, I know I'm raw, but it was just that it's another track that I made. You know, that's you don't really know when you're creating a, a classic or something as big as Hail Mary. You know, Michael Jordan can't, can't just say, I'm going to score 40 tonight and go out and do it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go out there and, and want to have to play a good game and do it. So basically, that's what it was. Uh, it was a late night. And what every I like every other person that had studio time, they were gone, and we was the only one in the studio. And uh, Pop came, and he was he already had laid the vocals down to the song, so he came back in the green room and asked me. He said, "Don't you know how to sing?" And I said, "Yeah." He was like, "My man, come in and sing the song for me." So I went in his room, his session, and um, he taught me. He showed me the words. He went over the words with me. You know, I went over it a couple of times before I got in the booth. And uh, when I was ready, I, I got in the booth. And he, you know, he said, I'm going to play it from the beginning to the end. And you just do your thing. And I'm going to be holding my hands up, letting you know when the hook come. And you, that's when you see the hook. When you see my hands go up and, you know, he, you know, he had that, that uh, choreographer thing going. <laughs> you know, Tupac got that good in him. He can, he can, he can lead the way for you if you just pay attention. So that's, that's how they came along.